Hey there, Aaron with Superior Singing Method, and this is Top Singing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. Uh, this is part two, talk a little bit about high notes and mistakes to avoid when it comes to high notes and really some tricks to get the high notes because the thing is, and by the way, I've got some stuff toward the end of this video. I just thought of it just now. I don't want to forget to say it, but stick around because I've got some fun like things that I'm doing that you'll enjoy, but I just want to jump right into this. Now, as far as like high notes go, and, and if you're experiencing some trouble with the high notes, high notes are obviously important because what it does is it opens up your repertoire, right? It opens up the amount of songs that you can sing at any given time, whether you write the songs, you're doing cover songs, or w whatever it is, it just, it allows you to sing more songs. And you know this, like when, if you're watching, whatever, American Idol or The Voice or something like that, you know, people are always like, go nuts when people like hit those high notes or whatever, right? I mean, it's, it's just, it's a part of singing. It's not even like a major part of singing. Most singing happens within like, you know, the mixed voice or whatever. And speaking of which, I could talk about a lot about the mix, but I'm not even actually gonna do that. I do that in my Spirit Singing Method course and a ton of my YouTube videos, so I'm not gonna talk about the mixed voice, but that's where most singing is. But most established artists can sing the higher notes because it's got that real like emotional impact, right? So that you wanna sprinkle that in. So you know all that. So that what I wanna focus on here is I wanna focus on the weaker muscles in your higher range because that's really what's going on. If you're having trouble, and this is one of like the, the top singing mistakes for you of, of you, you being hurt in your higher notes, it's probably because of weaker muscles in the higher range. So I'm gonna give you a cool, fun little exercise that's gonna help you with that to help correct that and fix that in a way that's not gonna to be too hard or too time consuming or, or you don't have to do it for too long before you start seeing, seeing some nice results. And this is, I actually got this idea from sports. There's something in sports with, you know, runners and, you know, all, all different kinds of, you know, football, basketball, everything they use thing called plyometrics. And it's like short bursts. It's like these, uh, these twitch, this twitch muscle thing that helps these muscles grow faster and stronger. And what I realized is I, I could apply this to singers as well. And that these same twitch muscles, cause your voice, you know, all your vocal tract here is made up of, of, of a bunch of different muscles. And so if you can get, apply this twitch muscle plyometric thing to, to the voice and to singing, it actually really helps. And it especially helps in the higher notes because it helps you to sing those higher notes while you're doing the exercise and build those higher notes in a way that doesn't cause strain, but also is building them at the same time. Okay, so that's that's basically what we're gonna do here. And here's how you do it. Um, here's something that you don't have to remember, but I just wanna, I wanna give you a little bit of context before I jump in. There's something called legato and another thing called staccato, okay? And legato is like, the difference would be like, ah, and staccato would be like, ah, 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 ah. You know, it's like, da, 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 da. It's like more choppy, that's what staccato is. And that's basically this idea of this twitch, and this twitch muscle and this plyometric thing, is I'm wanting you to do these like short bursts rather than da, ah, 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 ah. And then in this particular example, I want you to do like a bop like a bop, 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 okay? So um, here's how I wanna do it. I wanna do it like uh, bop, 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 Okay, so it's not bop, 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 We're not doing the, the legato. For this, for as far as the plyometrics go, we wanna do those short bursts, right? So bop, 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 Right, and you wanna keep climbing up until, you know, you don't wanna strain your voice, but this is actually gonna help protect your voice and it's gonna help you hit those higher notes. And the thing that, thing that you'll notice is that right now immediately you'll notice that you, your voice can climb higher notes doing the staccato thing than normal, but what's even better than that is as you do this exercise, you'll really notice a massive change over time as you're doing this, but you will notice some immediate, uh, you know, progress and progression than what you've seen. Like if you got one on a piano or a guitar or whatever, and you're like, ah, oh, this is kind of where my highest note is, whatever. And then you did this exercise with the staccato. You're like, oh, wow, it's already even just doing the staccato there. And as you're doing that, and as you're able to do that, that muscle remembers. And so later on when you're singing, it begins to expand your range. Pretty cool, right? So incremental now, and then later later over time, it's gonna be, be even more. Now, uh, the, 
singing high notes may not be your number one singing killer. That may not be the thing that's killing your singing. Um, if you click the link below, I've got a, there are a bunch of singing killers and to find out exactly what yours is, if you click that link, you go through my test, I've got a quiz. It's just like a little, you know, quiz, take you like 30 seconds to find out what your number one singing killer is. And then I'll actually send you a video that's tailor made for you, for your singing killer, that will help you to be able to correct it if this isn't your particular one. And you know, some people have more than one, but if you click that link below that, that'll, that'll really be helpful. But that other thing that I was wanting to talk to you about is that once we hit 600,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away six subscriptions to my superior singing method program. You may not even know what that is, but it's a program. It's like a eight week program. You do like, hey, you get exercise every day for six days. You take a day off, but it's six weeks of that. And it's like superior singing and six weeks or less. Anyway, it's a great program. It tells you exactly what to do and when to do it, but I'm gonna give away six copies of that. And here's how you enter to win. If below, you just put the words, I'm in. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you know anything about me, I don't know if you've seen a bunch of my videos or you haven't seen any, but I'm real big on commitment. Like I, I know that the way that you're going to have the biggest transformation in your life in order to become closer to your dreams and what you really want in life is this idea of committing. Like I'm in, I'm in, I'm going to do this thing. I'm in for doing the work that it's going to take to really become great at this thing. That's what gets me excited as far as being a teacher and a coach goes. As Yeah, as far as being a teacher and a coach goes, I, that's what gets me the most excited when people are like, oh, I'm really all in for this thing, which is why... You know, I've been saying recently, as far as like hit the notification bell, yes, it's gonna, it's gonna, it'll help the channel, it'll help everything, and it'll help me understand, you know, you know, what people want and all that stuff, especially comments below. But the notification, what it's begun to symbolize for me is this idea of commitment. I'm committed to getting this information in front of me, having it like pop up of all the different alerts that I have that are here to distract me. I singing, I want to be one that's in my face a lot. So I want to hit the notification bell as I'm doing videos, you see them coming up and you're constantly reminded to work on the thing that really matters to you that, you know, you have this dream of becoming a singer. I, I imagine if you're watching this and watching for this long. So hit that notification bell and, you know, of course, subscribe if you, if you haven't had a chance to yet, but, um, click that link below for the quiz and look, you can do this. If you want to be a singer, I, I was just listening to this story about this. I live in LA and about this, this kid in LA and everybody was telling him, don't pursue music, don't pursue music. It's such a, it's such a hard thing to do. And you'll never do that. I was just watching his Instagram and he's got like, you know, crazy amount of, you know, listens on his songs. Now he's just like in his early twenties and he completely just, he, his music just blew up and it's amazing. And I love it. And I'm just like, this, this is possible in this day and age. It's still possible to do what you love to do. And, and the good thing is that you don't have to, it's not like, Oh, I need to figure out how to take these giant leaps into the future to figure this thing out. It really is little by little, a little becomes a lot. You can start small. This is something small working on, you know, what's killing your voice or, you know, these little lessons, or maybe it's superior singing method, whatever it is for you, starting small to build something to become what it is you want to become, because it's so much more possible than you think. Most people think, oh, it's not possible, so I'm not really going to pursue it. I may kind of half-ass pursue it, but I'm just kind of going to do whatever I want. That's what most people do. It's what most people do, but you don't have to be that. You don't have to be most people. You can be like, well, maybe I'll do a serious pursuit of that because I can actually reach my dreams. And, and that's amazing because I love it when people are fully alive reaching their dreams. So start small. Um, if you want this, you can have it. So anyway, click the link below, do um, type I'm in, you know, below on the, on the comments to enter into this contest to win some superior singing method programs. If we haven't hit 600,000 subscribers, I don't know when you're watching this thing, but um, yeah, click that link below and I'll see you in the next video.